Monte Carlo simulation is a method that uses random sampling to obtain numerical results. In business, and for example in finance, Monte Carlo simulation can be used for assessing the risk of a stock or the uncertainty related to the um, price development of an asset, um, for, for example a stock. Um, we could have a stock that has been performing like this one, here represented by a pure random walk uh, with some underlying normal distribution. And assuming that this was the historical development of this stock, um, we would now want to assess the range of possible future prices and we would want to quantify the risk associated uh, with the uh, price development in terms of the the possible price span and the probability of various prices in the future. Uh, one way to go would be to apply Monte Carlo simulation. The underlying assumption would be that the historical price development um, could be modeled with a with a random walk, and um, that this historical um, randomness uh, can be applied in, uh, for the future. And the outcome of this would be. Uh, something like this here visualized as a uh, as a plot in which um, different uh, random walks were generated based on historical um, stock performance um, and as you can see this would give us uh, like a range of possible future prizes and would um, allow us to uh, quantify the probability of certain price ranges in the future um, the underlying assumption is, of course, that the history is, is a, an appropriate um, source for making predictions for the future. Uh, this is, of course, in, in many cases not true. Nevertheless, many uh, models in, in the world of finance are based on historical data. And in this video, I just want to quickly show you how you can implement Monte Carlo simulation of, of stock price development in Python. Um, in this example, I'm taking uh, some some fictional daily stock closing prices that I write into a list. So this is purely fictional, could be uh, some kind of asset. And um, so this is my price history for this stock. I'm importing now a statistics module. Uh, for visualization, I'm importing matplotlib.pyplot and for uh, generating random distributions and, 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 and for applying random sampling. I'm importing the random module. Now, what I will be doing is I will um, loop through the uh, historical prices and I will calculate the relative price changes, so the day-to-day -day price changes for this historical set of stock prices. Um, for this, I then I calculate the standard deviation. So I take the standard deviation of daily returns and um, I output it here. So if we look at this artificial or this fictional set of um, th this, this fictional time series of, of stock prices, um, the and, and, and if we assume this could be modeled by a random walk, um, then um, this random walk would be characterized by a standard deviation of 0.02. Um, and now I can use this historical information to model um, um, many random walks for the future um, by uh, assuming that the underlying um, random walk can be modeled with a standard deviation of 0.02. And essentially this will be a Monte Carlo simulation. So I will be um, sampling um, Stock price development uh, based on a, a normal distribution characterized um, with a standard deviation from historical data. And um, this will give me an idea of the uh, possible future price development. For this, I write a function here. The function takes in a standard deviation and it takes in a list of historical prices. The first thing I do is I, I create, using a list comprehension, a list with day indices. So this is just a list with 
uh, the numbers uh, of the index numbers for the, the various dates. I create an IntelliS for the prices that I will now predict and um, the, uh, the first price I will start with is going to be the most recent historical price. With this most recent historical price I enter a for loop that loops through all the future days that I want to make a prediction for and uh, then I calculate um, uh, the day-to-day -day price changes by applying a, uh, a normal distribution, um, a standard normal distribution with a standard deviation characterized uh, from the historical um, daily returns. As you can see here, uh, I will always take the, the price from the most recent day. I will change it uh, by a normally distributed return and uh, this will be uh, the price for the next day which will then be appended to my price list. At the end of this uh, function, the, uh, a two-dimensional um, list is returned that in its first column contains all the day index numbers and in the second column it contains the um, prices that were generated by this random walk. This is essentially a random walk taking place here. And I test this here. I execute the uh, function uh, once, uh, generating uh, this list, uh, this two-dimensional list prices, which I then visualize here uh, using pyplotlib, uh, or pyplot in matplotlib. And this is my, my single random walk. So this would be one random walk, how the stock could develop if the daily returns have a normal distribution with a standard deviation equal to the standard deviation of the historical daily returns. But this is only one possible random walk. Um, since the, uh, the random walk is characterized by a normal distribution, I now want to know the range of possible prices in the future after a certain number of days. So I apply uh, random walks over and over again and essentially what I'm doing is I'm applying a random sampling and I'm, um, I'm repeating the experiment several times. In this case I do 30 random walks so I repeat the experiment 30 times. And this is essentially my, my uh, Monte Carlo simulation. So I execute um, the function uh, 30 times and uh, for every time I add um, an additional line to my uh, price development plot um, and every line will now represent an additional random walk. And this um, returns uh, eventually the, the plot you can see here which shows the 30 different random walks that were generated um, from this historical um, set of stock prices and um, the uh, there to uh, connected a standard deviation of daily returns. And this is then something I could use for assessing um, the risk uh, related to the stock um, and I could somehow incorporate in my in my model and, 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 and uh, base my financial investment decision um, on the um, uncertainty uh, uh, derived uh, from this Monte Carlo simulation. If you would like to apply this example yourself you can find um, this coding example on my blog, there's a link in the video description and then you can use this as a template um, for conducting your own uh, Monte Carlo simulation.